today, we speak on behalf of the Minnesota Catholic Conference, which is the policy voice of the Catholic Church in Minnesota. And today to tell you, to speak to you and encourage you to listen closely to the personal stories and testimony that you'll hear about providing driver's license for undocumented persons and why this is good policy, even if it's politically difficult. It's good policy. Among other things, it helps immigrants meet basic needs such as getting to work, running errands for their families, particularly in many parts of Minnesota where there is not public transportation, where many of our immigrants live in our rural communities. Of course, as has been said, this legislation will create safer roads by helping to ensure drivers meet basic standards. It'll help foster workforce stability. It'll help law enforcement because there'll be people who are more willing to say, be an eyewitness to a crime because they'll have documentation to be able to say who they are. However, as a Catholic bishop, I want to especially focus on the moral side of this issue. We know that as legislators, one of the things you're entrusted with is helping uh, build a, a moral and disciplined society. And one of the most common exhortations in the Hebrew and Christian Bible is the command to welcome the stranger. And we have really a moral imperative to insist the immigrants in our midst to ensure that we do not create a subclass of citizens living in the shadows of society. The Bible's very clear on this. The alien who resides with you shall be to you as a citizen among you. You shall love the alien as yourself, for you were aliens in the land of Egypt. The truth is none of us chose the country where we were born. We received it all as a gift. And other people have come to this country seeking the same gift that we have benefited from when we have actually a command and justice to try to help them. Though some might look upon undocumented persons as lawbreakers, I really believe that people who come to this country seeking a life free from crime and poverty and other dangerous situations, it's very difficult to call that lawbreaking. Everyone knows that the, cause, the causes of immigration in this country are, of the immigration problem are complex, and they usually involve people fleeing difficult situations for safety and economic opportunity. In fact, indeed, most religious traditions and international law recognize the right to migrate to meet basic human needs. Of course, this doesn't mean that undocumented immigrants are necessarily entitled to all the rights and benefits of a U.S. citizen. States and nations can regulate immigration for the common good and respect of the law is an important value. But the law was made for the good of persons and communities, not the other way around. Unfortunately, our federal government has continued to fail to enact comprehensive immigration reform. We understand that's their job, not yours. And we, but, of course, there are 11 million undocumented people in this country, but we have to deal somehow with the 90,000 of them that are in Minnesota. And we can ask ourselves, in fact, there's more than 90,000. We can ask ourselves how we must address what we might call basic human rights for those who are living on the margins of our society. And the reality that we all know is that the immigrants here in our state are likely to escape. And it's good for us if we invite them to be part of our society rather than continue to keep them on the margins. A provisional driver's license legislation does therefore not reward lawlessness, but it benefits not only immigrants but us all because of the benefits that all of us have for safer roads and uh, inviting people who are here in our society to participate more fully. Sadly, not offering immigrants an opportunity for a license will actually only contribute to the likelihood that these undocumented persons will remain isolated from broader society and will be forced to operate in a parallel economy, economy jeopardizing their future and the hopes of their families, which they have come here to seek. And they are persons who share the same aspirations as other Americans. I really believe this legislation is a human rights test. I know it's difficult for people in this community to touch the immigration issue. But the real question is, are we as Minnesotans ready to embrace our brothers and sisters and help them in a way that costs us nothing as a community? Or do we fall back on a narrow conception of what it means to be an American based on language, culture, and economic status? I hope today, I hope that you'll consider the future difficult to vote on this, that you'll follow the biblical exhortation to remember that 
Uh, we, our families were once strangers in this land. Our relatives arrived with, with a very similar hope. And what we need today to, is to be to an example of the many people in this room. We need to be an example of mercy, offering helping hand in such time. Thank you.